Hey guys, welcome to another recipe. Today we are gonna make butternut squash cookies. They are so good. You could literally do this with like anything, like carrots, zucchini, like seriously anything. Try it, it's really good. I'll link the in the description down below where I found this recipe. Um, I don't exactly remember where, but I did find it on Pinterest, and it was a regular vegetarian recipe with eggs and things like that. And I just manipulated it with a flax egg like I normally do with baking. Um, if you guys are interested in ever trying to do baking, seriously, this flax egg for baking is amazing. I found that out um, with my trial and error and I'm trying to do stuff with chickpeas so we'll see where that goes but yeah the recipe will be linked down below and then I'm showing you a little list of all the ingredients I used and I didn't have vanilla in this recipe so I kind of just nixed out of it so if you don't have vanilla this recipe still works and I tried it with vanilla um, it just gives it more of that like sweet you know I guess you could call it umami I don't know but first you want to start with your butternut squash. Um, I had this small one and you want to pit out all the seeds and then slice it up into cube pieces so you can throw that in a saucepan to steam out. And once you're done steaming it out, it's probably going to take like 5-10 minutes and then throw it in your food processor and puree them. Once it's done pureeing, you're going to want to add a stick of butter in there. Um, it might not be all the way... Actually, you were supposed to put that butter before, but I forgot. But after you do that, you can add in your sugar and the... You were using two types of sugar, so brown sugar and um, white sugar. And then your flax egg and mix it all up again. And then you're going to want to set that aside once it's all done and um, set up your dry ingredients. So we're going to use, I believe, like four cups, two cups of flour, um, two, one cup of oats, and then your seasonings, which is nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, salt, pep not pepper, <laughs> and baking powder, and then mix it all together so it's all combined. And then once it's all combined, add in your wet ingredients and mix it all up. And I hope you guys are all having a great Saturday. Um, it's my cousin's birthday today. Oh, actually it was yesterday and today we're going to have um, a dinner for him. So once it's all done, you can, it should look something like this. If you want, I would suggest actually letting it sit or put it in the fridge so then the flax egg can make it go better. Um, that's very Asian to say. And then throw it in your oven and here is where I find it. found that recipe. Life tastes good. So you can find it there. Again, you can use any type of vegetable you want and puree them. And I've been really bad at um, getting pictures of my food after, but yeah, this is it. I hope you guys all have a good weekend and I'll see you guys next time.